Okay, uh, Montserrat, we're recording now. I love this robot. Can you tell us all the parts that you use to make it? Well, I haven't finished, but uh -huh. I just a box uh, of a uh, of a bracelet and I. The hair. Uh, What's the hair? Gonna, I'm gonna change the name. Gonna, I'm gonna change the name. You have my name on. Yes. Oh, hold on a second, Antara. <laughs> can you uh, turn your microphone off for a second? Montserrat uh -huh. is presenting her uh, door greeter. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, again, Montserrat, the hair is made from? It's made from the little papers of the, of, of the, you have seen like the presents that have sure. like. Uh, Ribbons. Yeah, ribbons, it, it's made of that. And How about your arms? What are your arms made from? From sticks, and I just made like this. Cool. But I didn't put in this in this part because I want to show like if and what I do. In here, I put from the bottom, but, uh, like a uh, uh, thing, but I don't know, like, what does it call like but it's like a box and it has this of pencils uh-huh it's kind of a jar for a, a jar or a yeah. cardboard jar. jar excellent excellent, excellent. And, and what do you uh do you have an idea of what your robot is going to say when someone when uh, someone bad comes in your room what's Happy the problem in the mission uh, Montserrat, yeah. can you can you, do you can you explain what the problem in the mission is, and then can you tell us what you want your robot to say when someone walks in the door? The problem it's that me people and the don't want to work together. Yeah. And yeah. we What's like our to mission? do it. There are mean people and there are people who like to work together. Yeah. And what's our mission? Our mission is to do, do a project, well, to do like a robot. Yes. That, that can say something that you want or do something. Okay, and what are you gonna have your robot say when someone, uh, someone mean walks in the door? Um, Mm, um, uh, I don't know. I it's I just I that just out yet. okay. I just know what if a good person like goes in, it could be like Happy Halloween and going like uh, could coming. could say Happy Halloween and give them some candy. Yeah, yeah that's why he's he hear the the little basket like oh. Okay. Little I like that idea. I, li I like that idea a lot. Montserrat, most excellent. Thank you for sharing it with us. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Lula. Hi, John. <laughs> okay. Hello, Lula. Hi. Hi, everybody. And hi, Ricky. I saw you there. Are you there still, Ricky? Oh, uh, oh I invited Ricky to join. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Hello. Hey, welcome. Hello. Guys, say hello to uh, Ricky. Ricky is from China, and he's oh. starting a group of kids uh, in China, and we're going to do similar projects to what you're doing. Okay. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> they are all boys. I haven't been able to find a girl yet. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, don't give up, Ricky. It's important to have girls in <laughs> on the team, <laughs> we have we have are, three girls on this team uh, and three wait, boys. Wait, 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 John. Yes, Antara. Um, I actually didn't have time for pasting my um how to call it, my robot because yesterday was my mother's birthday. Oh, okay. Oh, well, happy had... birthday, happy mom. birthday to your mom, Antara. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, but um, as <laughs> Great. Hey, is this uh, Alfredo? Yeah. 
Hi, Alfredo. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Great. Alfredo, um, would you like to open your lab book and uh, share with Ricky uh, what our problem and our mission is? Yep. Okay. Well, um... It's a good idea, guys, before we start building to synchronize, to uh, to define the problem and the mission. Why are we building what we're building and what's our goal? Okay, Alfredo, you're up. Or if it takes some time, Antara, would you like to share your screen and show oh, your lab book? I actually don't have it complete my lab book. Oh, okay. Because All right. Remember that I, can lab share, I can share my lab book. Okay. I already okay. have opened it. Okay. Just share your screen. Oh, because it's your, 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 I see. Your, your lab book is on your mom's computer. Right. That's Fernando. Oh, that's Fernando. Okay. I don't have everyone. Ready. Okay, go ahead, Fernando. Um. Well, here I have my uh, problem, but well, here I have my lab book cover. Yep. Here the problem that there are that basically is that there are good people and mean people, and we just want the uh, good people to enter in. A uh, space, a uh, place that we own. Okay. Uh, the mission is figure out how to make a cool greeter, a cool door greeter, so just good people enter to our space. Okay. Perfect. Here Clear, I have concise, my... compelling description of the problem and the mission. Most excellent, Fernando. And okay. some brainstorming, and also the programmation of the scratch. Okay, can you uh, go back a, a bit to the brainstorming section? Yeah. Explain Explain the process. Even one back, a, a few slides, slide four. Let's go to slide four. Right. Well, you told us that some examples of door readers are the ones that are at the top, that are these yep. ones. Uh-huh. And well, these two, I decided to put them. Good, good. Ancient so, door greeters and modern door greeters. Perfect. Yeah. Here I have one part of some brainstorming of what should a door greeter do. Uh huh. Um, basically, is to determine the the mean people and just let to enter the good people. Yep. And, and ways, to, um, okay. How do we detect uh, good guys uh, and bad and bad guys? So uh, here are some things that all the people said in this class. Uh -huh. The first one is the password that you need to say a, pass, a password so you can enter. Uh -huh. The second one is how to how they open the door. The mean people the mean people will open it uh, fast and strong while the good people will be like come and they will just open it or maybe knock on the door first yep yeah uh-huh the third one is a card reader to get in the door reader uh -huh. and you just give the little cards to your friends uh-huh cool the number four is ask visitor to sing a song and if you like it um it is welcome but if not, you let him out of your house. Great, great, I love it. Fantastic. And the voice, the voice recognition is like you do a little hole in your door and you ask who is it and then you will recognize the voice. Okay, that, that could work too. Okay. All right. I will stop sharing. Next slide. Oh, those are oh well. This is my 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 your scratch project. My scratch problem. Uh -huh. Excellent, Fernando. This is a model lab book, guys. 
Montserrat, everyone, take a look at what Fernando has done. It's oh. it's a, a a spectacular example of a well documented project. Yep. Okay, yep. we all want to try to get where Fernando is. Well done, I Fernando. Stop sharing, John. Okay. Okay. Uh, John. John. So we have Montserrat's great example. And we have Fernando's planning. <clears throat> I finished coloring the dress. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, nice, Montserrat. Okay, guys. Um, so today, last week, we worked on the scratch project. Everyone should have a scratch project. If you don't, <clears throat> uh, Brent or I can help you. Uh, during the week, if you have questions or you'd like to share with us your scratch project, if it has a problem, we'll try to troubleshoot it for you. Um, so now we have a door greeter built, we have our lab books built, and we have our scratch project um, ready to detect when the door opens. Right? Everyone on board? Well, I don't have my lab book complete. Okay. Well, you just saw a really good lab book, Montserrat, so you know what to do now, right? Yes. It's important to build the project. It's equally important to be able to document it and present it. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, Brent, can you put on the screen? Let me uh, unpin. Oh, join. Uh, Hold on a second, let me unpin. Great, thanks Brent. So Brent is gonna show some pictures of one solution to detecting when the door is open. Our goal is to press a key on the keyboard and that will start the scratch project. Okay, oh. so... Um, Let's, uh, if you have all of the uh, slides, let's go to the um, third one, Brent. The third one? Okay. So here's the mechanism, one solution. And what happens is when you pull the string, it basically makes the arms go down. Could you see that? You pull the string, the arm will go down. And if the arm goes down, it will press a key. And then if you go to the next slide, the fourth slide, Brent, you'll see the scratch project. And that code will detect when a key is pressed. It will make the cat sound off and turn the cat. And then it waits for the key not to be pressed before it stops meowing and turning. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, we'll go over more carefully how that scratch project is written. Uh, in fact, um, Brent will, can, can guide you through how to, how to modify your scratch project so it, it does this. Okay, uh, great Brent. Can you go back to the um, first slide that you were showing? Great, now so this is set up so that your computer is on a desk, right? You can see it on the table there. And if you look carefully, you'll see a string that's going from the arm of the mechanism and it's going down to the floor. It's wrapping around the stool. And then if you show the second slide, Brent, you'll see that that string is attached to the door. Oh, my God. Yeah. So when that string is attached to the door, when the door opens, it will, it will pull the string. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so let me see if I can show you this in action. I've got this set up on my computer. Let me see if I can pin this spotlight this video okay so you can see my uh, uh, my video i'm going to show this to you in real 
Oh, oh my god. So it's true away. That is, that is John's office. So John is walking to his door. And then around that string, around the, the copy search to the door, and then the string goes around the stool, the stool, <laughs> then the string goes up to the table, it goes up to a little clamp on the table, so it corrects the string to pull, pull the arm. Make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Now let's watch what happens when we pull the string. Uh, turn on the scratch project. Oh. If I pull the string, let's see if it makes the cat meow. <coughs> what? Okay. You spin me right now, yeah. baby, right now. <laughs> when I pull the string, the cat moves. You spin me right now, baby, right now. <laughs> Can you turn off your microphones while, while John is explaining, please? Okay, miss. Now you have to look really careful at this. Um, to feel this Some foam rubber, 
and that makes the chopstick sort of stick on the key. And that's the exact same for the top. You can copy stir stick on the bottom. First of all, I glued the copy stir stick to the cardboard, and then I glued the chopstick on top of the copy stir stick. And at the very end, I just put a couple of pieces of foam rubber uh, so that we can attach the string to the end. And the tricky part is to make a hinge. And I just made a hinge with cardboard. Just made uh, these little elements here and hot glued them to the triangle and to the base, to the triangle that moves and that mounts the arms. And the other side of the hinge is hot glued to the vertical structure. That all making sense, guys? Yes, yeah, John. Okay. Yes. So the final result again is when you pull the top arm, you press the key, and that starts that starts the program. So, all right, do you guys have all the materials? Uh, that we need to do this, we'll need cardboard, coffee stir sticks, hot glue, and you can try to do this all with coffee stir sticks, or if you have a chopstick or a long, long uh, uh, dowel, you could use that as the arm. The, the coffee stir sticks are, may not stiff enough, so you might have to glue several coffee stir sticks together to get an arm that's strong enough. And the arms need to be quite long, right? These arms are about uh, almost a foot long. They'll give you good leverage. Okay, so let's do this one step at a time. I'm going to try to um, mount the camera, so let me see if I can mount the camera. So you can see the emptiness. Okay, so I'm going to put a... Uh, Brent, tell me if, um, if this is making sense. Okay, you can see the uh, pin board now, or the uh, green uh, cutting board. And we need a piece of cardboard. Like this. Okay. Let me stop here. Does everyone have a piece of cardboard? You'll need cardboard, scissors, ruler. Cardboard, scissors, and? Or a pencil. Pencil. Cardboard, scissors. Okay. And you'll need some tape. Could be either tape like this or masking tape. And you'll need some coffee stir sticks. And you'll need some string. Brent, can you type on the screen all of those things? Scissors, ruler, pencil, tape, coffee stir sticks. String and cardboard. That should be everything we need. Okay, we'll give you a couple of minutes to collect all those materials. It was cardboard, scissors, and ruler and pencil. Uh, Brent, I'll, uh, oh, you have to open up the chat. Is it in chat, Brent? 
Um, I got scissors, string, coffee stirrers. Um, what else was it? Pencil. Tape. Tape. Cardboard, coffee stirrer sticks, tape, pencil, ruler. Okay, say again. Sorry. A uh, ruler. ruler. Uh, we need um, cardboard. If you look at the chat, guys, you'll see all the stuff you need to collect. Or if you look at the picture, you should see. I'll, I'll put everything on the screen in the picture as well. String, ruler, pencil, scissors, tape, and coffee stir sticks. Um, yeah. That should be everything. Yeah. Yes, and a glue gun. Warm up your glue gun. I only get this type of cardboard that is like paper. Yes, uh, uh, it needs to be pretty stiff cardboard. Okay. Um, it needs to be pretty stiff. That's Alfredo? Okay, I'm going to search another one. Okay, a cereal box or a, a, a packing box, corrugated cardboard can work also. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll give everyone a minute or so to collect these parts. Yeah. See what you can find around the house. <coughs> that is a cardboard box, you can cut apart a cardboard box. Cardboard scissors, string. Um, Brent, if you, uh, okay, this is great. I think you got it all, Brent. Here's where we can use the timer, Brent. Uh, oh, definitely. <laughs> Ricky and Lula, Brent is working with some of our advanced builders to make a timer. And so we can run the timer when we give everyone so much time to complete a project. And the timer does all sorts of playful things as it counts down. And then um, when it gets to the end point, it, uh, you know, tells a joke or does some fancy thing. <laughs> like your cuckoo clock. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cuckoo clock. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's a cuckoo clock. <laughs> I remember when you had the interns with uh, Danny. Remember they were working with you? That's right. We did a similar project. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I got cool. everything. Okay, Antara. Way to go. Way to go. Uh, How are you doing, okay. Montserrat? I got the, the cardboard. Guys, check out what Antara cardboard box top. Yep, good. I, I have a marker. Any tape? I have already got the. Oh. Okay, good, good, Antara. Uh, Fernando, <laughs> how are you doing? Diego, I see I Diego already here. Have, I already have all. Have everything good. Okay. I have tape. But <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna go to the next step. Don't worry if you don't have all the parts. Um, you can good work, Alfredo. That'll work fine. I have tape, but I just have this one. This is okay. a little one. Don't, don't worry if you uh, if you don't have all the parts, just watch really carefully and you'll be able to build this on your own. We're recording this, so we'll have it posted on our website. If you miss anything or don't have the right part, you'll be able to go back to this video and see where to go. Okay. okay. I already have all the pieces. Me too. All right. Well, so there you go, guys. Come on, I was like running the entire whole time in my house <laughs> looking for this stuff. <laughs> I have uh, John on the skirt, but I have these ones. Yeah. 
So we have a strip like this. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I don't have cubby strips, but I have thin ones. Don't no, no worry, Monster. I just watch. Really my, my dad collects them, so I had to grab him for my daddy. Once you do that, I'm sorry, daddy. You want to cut it out. Wait, wait, wait. You can go among the guns. I'm cutting the parts that I don't need. My cardboard. Yeah. And they're big scissors, though. They're not. They're from my kitchen. Can you close the microphone and listen to John when he gives his opinion? Okay. Yes, Miss Lula. Sorry. The first thing we're going to make is the um, vertical triangular structure. The first thing we're going to build is this vertical structure. So then once we have this, we're going to um, mark off. See how I just put the ruler near the end of the cardboard and I'm going to take the end, end of the scissors and I'm going to score the cardboard. What, does anyone remember why scoring cardboard is important? If you want to fold something, you need to score it in order to get a nice, clean fold. Okay? So we take that nice, clean fold, and then we do the same thing to the other end. Put the ruler on the end. Take the scissors and score it right across like that. And then right in the middle, you can measure between the two scores. I have exactly, well, I know you guys work in millimeters. I have between the two scores, I have nine inches. So right in the middle, around 4.5, right in the middle, I'll make a mark, and then I'll make another score right in the middle of the, um, of the long strip. So now I should have three scores. At the end, I'll, I'll draw it in pencil so you can see where the scores are. There's one score here, one score in the middle, and one score here. All right, you can see the score on the end, one in the middle, and one on this end. Now look what happens when I fold this. It bends nice and even right square in the middle, right? And then when I bend the end, I have the triangle ready to go. See how those ends go together? And voila, we have a vertical, a vertical structure that already is quite strong. Okay, we'll give you one minute to finish this. John. Just know when you finish this vertical triangle. John. Yes. I finish, but I don't paste it. I paste it. You can paste it or hot glue it, either way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. <clears throat> It'll be stronger if you hot glue it, but you can tape it also. Let me get some masking tape. Where did I put it? Um, John. Yes. Um, I didn't have time, but. When I tried doing it, um, it didn't make it like a triangle, like a perfect, perfect triangle. Oh, it's all right if it's not a perfect triangle. Don't worry. This happened. Oh, 
Okay, I see Antara. We can, um, we can, I think we can strengthen that with coffee stirrer sticks. I, I, I got a lot of them. <laughs> okay, good, I got good. like a false one. I'll show you how we can, how we can fix that. Antara, okay. I see exactly what you did. I think we can make that work. Yep, good. A bunch of them. So, um, Double-sided tape. When you're taking well, like, stuff, guys, um, try to use just a little bit of tape. No more than okay. an inch. It's much easier to work with your tape when you just use small pieces rather than really long pieces. Okay. Um, then I'm actually using double-sided tape. Oh, it's okay. okay. Well, Doug, we can make we can work with double-sided tape. So you you see. Okay. You see how I've taped, I've taped this. If you have a hot glue gun, you can hot glue it too. And then to make this stronger, notice that it's a little bit, it bends a little bit. To make it stronger, you can put coffee stir stick on like this and we can just tape it. So we'll take, we need to tape this long. Try to keep your tape not more than an inch long and just tape the copy stir stick to the cardboard. See how that works? Yep, give me a second. Okay, pretty simple. Antara, you're going to have to figure out a way since your triangle is not really a triangle, it's like yeah, a that's that's why I got a hot glue. Right yeah. here. Um, you have to try to figure out a way to uh, take the coffee stir sticks on that so that it makes it pretty strong. Okay. Hey, John, just a quick feedback. Sure. Uh, sure um, where, where you're sitting right now seems a bit far from the microphone, so it's a little bit. Uh, it's hard to hear. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like you're talking from a far distance. Uh, oh, I am. I'm across the room. Let me see if I can uh, talk from my cell phone. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how you could... Um, or I'll move my uh, microphone. I should have had... Uh, let me see if I can move the microphone. Yeah, but I... Uh, when you were, when you were uh, uh, working on your um, desk... <laughs> Ah, I know what to do. I know what to do here. Let's pin this. Thank you, Ricky, for that feedback. I'll make it so we can. I'll make it so we can see. Uh, we can work right here. Okay, now I'll pin this. Spotlight video. Okay, now we're seeing a whole different screen. Okay, and then let me bring all the materials over. So, so how far is your work desk? Where you uh, are right now? Just across the room. So that's 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 like four, four or five yeah. meters. Yeah. But this 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 will work fine. Okay. Green coffee stir sticks. Pencil. Okay, I think I got everything out. I just need the cardboard now. Okay, so you can see the structure in the background. This is our goal line, right? 
And the first thing we've built is this vertical structure with the coffee stir stick. Now you can just uh, you can just break this coffee stir stick with your with your fingers. Right? Or you can cut it with your scissors. And you can if your if your vertical structure is not strong enough with one you can tape a second one on there. Okay. Great. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another strip just like we made the first one. All right. So we put the cardboard down. Let me put it so you can see it on the camera. I'm going to put the ruler on the edge of the cardboard. I'll just line the ruler up with the edge of the cardboard and with a pencil, I'll draw a line right across the cardboard. See how we have a line just like we did the first time. And we'll cut this out. We're going to make another triangle, guys, that's going to be the arm, the rotating arm. Jan, I did it, but I did it like this. Uh, who is this? Diego? Like this. Um, oh, Montserrat. Hold on a second, Montserrat. Let me see big screen. Oh, that's fine, Montserrat, that's perfect. That'll work great. You did good, Montserrat. Thank you. Okay. Now we have to make another triangle, but the other triangle is gonna be like this. We've made this triangle. That's the vertical structure. Now we're gonna make a smaller triangle on which we can mount the arms. Make sense? Yes. Okay, so we're going to cut another strip just like we did the first one, the width of the ruler along about the length of a ruler. Okay, and then we'll mark off this. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can put this so you can all see it. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark, I'm gonna mark this off so you can see it. You don't uh, need to do it quite like John, this. Yes. Uh, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. So, Hi, I got lost a little bit and my hot glue is, I already put in the hot glue, but it's actually um, not really ready, my hot glue. Oh, it takes a little while for the hot glue to warm up? Okay. Yes. Don't don't worry. Um, just follow just follow what we're doing. You'll catch up quickly once the hot glue warms up. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the length of the ruler. There it is. That's what I have. Okay. Um, excuse me. The width of the ruler. I'm marking off sort of steps in the ladder. Let's see if we can see this a little better. So I'm trying to make an equilateral triangle. An equal, anyone know what an equilateral triangle is? Equal lateral. What do you think it means? That is equal. Equal sides, right, yeah. three equal sides. That's called an equilateral triangle. So if I make a whole bunch of marks the width of the ruler, I'm gonna make two, I'm gonna, this is two inches here. I'm gonna make another score at two inches. Remember, it's really important to score where you're gonna fold. That makes your scores that makes your folds really clean. It's good model making technique 
to score your cardboard. And then if I do, you're gonna need to make four sides, four sides of this equilateral triangle. Even though a triangle has three sides, the fourth side is gonna be the side that you're gonna to glue together. Okay, so now where I scored it, I can bend it here. You can see there's two widths there, and then I can bend it here. Right, there's two widths of the ruler there, and then I can bend it here. And you'll see I have a triangle here, right? And then if I put this on here, that's the fourth side. And I can just cut this. And now I have a triangle, equilateral triangle. Make sense, guys? Yep. You can remember that, right? And this is gonna be the triangle that, on which we mount the arms and on which we mount the hinge that makes, that makes this go up and down. Okay. The last piece of cardboard, cardboard we're gonna make is for the base. And the base is gonna be three inches by four inches. Anyone want to convert three inches to four inches? Three inches to uh, centimeters? Three inches are six centimeters. Okay. And four inches are eight centimeters. Roughly. Very good. Okay, good enough. Um, what Who happens, said that? John? Who said that? Fernando. Fernando. Very good, Fernando. We it, Our rulers in Mexico have one side is centimeters and the other side is inches. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay, so you can see I'm just taping that final side. Okay. Ricky, is this better? Can you hear me now and see everything better? Yes, much better. Okay, good. So this is the second triangle you need. It's an equilateral have, triangle. And you gotta have the first one. I have the first one. Okay, good. That works perfect. Antara, good job. Thank you. I'm trying my best because I never did with the hot glue. I never, I never do something with a hot glue. Okay, well, it's a good opportunity to learn uh, yep. Learn new tricks. Montserrat, how are you coming? I'm, I am a little, I just have this. Okay, this. keep going, keep going. Is, is it a little triangle? Because this is the size of the cardboard that I have. Oh, okay, that's perfect, yep. That's perfect. So should I, should I make a little one? Or I should stay with yeah. the... Yeah, well, see how these two triangles, this one is two, roughly two inches on each side. Okay, two inches. Or six centimeters on each side. Actually, it's, what, it's closer to. Oh my God, for mine, it's little, but. Oh yeah, uh, oh wait, let me, never mind, the red is fine, so. Oh. Two inches is roughly five why, centimeters. Why, why, why did I cut? I cut. I will, I will get this for, for later because I want to do something. Okay. For another one. Should I have two triangles? And then, Diego, Fernando, how are you coming? Diego, how are you coming? I'm uh, I'm in the little triangle. I have already done the little triangle. Okay. Okay. So you have two two triangles ready. Fantastic. Uh, Fernando. I'm working on the second triangle. Oh, you're working on the second triangle. Okay. Good. Fernando. Como va? How does it go? <laughs> uh, good. Good. Somebody's learning Spanish. I'm trying. <laughs> Everybody has a chance for trying. Okay. <laughs> uh, my dream, Antara, is to speak Spanish half as good as you speak English. <laughs> oh. 
Tengo un sueño que quiero, ab quiero aprender español la mitad como tú hables inglés. ¿Entiendes? Oh, ya, yeah. yo sí entiendo. También <laughs> yo entiendo. Uy. And how is Alfredo doing? Alfredo. Um, I have old, almost finished the second triangle. Okay, good. I am waiting for the I am waiting. I am waiting for the hot glue. Uh, the hot glue to warm up. Yeah, it's much better if you can do it with hot glue because. It'll be a, it'll be stronger, but it'll work with tape. John, no worries if you don't have tape. Who's who's uh who is this? Montserrat, like Montserrat. this. Like... Hold on a second, Montserrat. Let me get you on the screen. No, but uh, like this. Yeah, that's perfect, Montserrat. You got it perfect. Way to go. Just hot glue that or tape it together. Oh, my God. Okay. And the last uh, piece of cardboard we need before we start putting the coffee stir sticks on is the base. We need to make the base of our key presser, our door sensor key presser. Like Senses when the door way. opens and presses a key. Are good like okay. this? That works. That works, Antara. Oh, excuse me. Love. Yep, that works, uh, Antara. Uh, love. Okay, the base, guys, is going to be love. three inches by four inches. So. Three inches by four inches. Four inches. I'm learning this. I'm learning. So you can just mark off three inches. Or four inches. And then draw a line across. And then the other yeah, part of the base yeah, should be roughly four it's okay inches. That, it's okay that it's little or it is to be huge. John, I have a... It's red. okay. Well, it should be roughly three inches by four inches. It can be smaller. It can be smaller or bigger. Oh my God. But roughly, you should... Okay. Good, Montserrat. Okay. John, I have it. So let's make the base next. John. Yes. I have it. Okay. Well, we're near the end of the hour. Who is that? Who says they have it? Diego. Diego. Let me see, Diego. Hold on a second. Let me get to see your. No, screen. I don't finish it, but I have the base. Okay. Good. Good, good, Diego. Uh, la, 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 We're going to have la, la, just uh, five more minutes or so, and then we'll finish this next week. John, uh, uh, my connection is not that, that really good right now. It's oh, like I'm I'm sorry. having a lot of luck. Oh, um, okay. While talking. All right. Well, uh, we're, we're, we're recording this session. So we'll post it and I'll send you an email when it gets posted. Okay. But uh, for next week, we should have three uh, cardboard pieces. The vertical, the base, the vertical structure, and then the triangle for the arm that mounts the arms. So from the side view, it looks like this. Okay. John. Yes. Now I have finished. You have all three pieces? Yes. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Guys, let's put uh, excellent Alfredo. Okay. John, I have good. Good. Wow. Okay, you guys are fast workers. I'll next week I'll try to go faster. We'll we'll be able to finish this next week and then we're going to connect your robot uh, and connect your door sensor and connect your scratch program. Next week, we should be able to put it all together, to integrate it all together. 
I have it. Wow, look at this. That's uh. I got hot glued. Whoa. All right. That's for, is that the Diego that showed us that? Yeah. Diego, nice job. Very nice job. Okay. I um, got burned. You got burned, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, by the hot glue. Okay. <laughs> well, you'll have a blister for about a week, but it'll go away. <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, fun building with you. I in think the, uh, you are doing excellent. Nice. Next week, I bet we'll have our, our door sensor working. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, give me, give me a whole second. I need to see yeah, how you I'm do I'm almost it. finishing. Oh, wow. Look at this. Montserrat. Wait. Way to go. Look at what Montserrat. But, okay. Um, we're going to, we haven't made the hinge yet. I see, Montserrat, you've glued everything together. That's fine. Uh, but we're going to put a hinge on the arm that rotates. Very good, Alfredo. Excellent. Excellent, Alfredo. You're going to need a base. Uh, oh, my God. Give me a second. Okay. okay. I have already got all right. To, I will show my camera and show my things. Okay. We'll finish up next week, all right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Brent's gonna take, uh, take over the next class now. I think see people starting to join for the next class. So, uh, Montserrat, see you next week. Bye, Antara. Um, Alfredo, Diego, Fernando. Bye. See you all next week. Nice Bye. work. Nice work, guys. Hi, Brent, too. Hi. I'm going. Bye. Okay. So, okay. Keep your pieces for next week so we can start where we left off. Bye, John. Bye, for, bye Diego. Say goodbye to Brandon, Lula, and Ricky. Goodbye, Lula. Goodbye, Ricky. Great work. <laughs> bye, everybody. Now you, see why, now you see why I don't let you work with the glue gun at school. <laughs> yeah. I know how to work. I'm going to have to show you some tricks to use the glue gun safely. Thank Next you. Next week, we'll start with a, a, a glue gun lesson. Remind me, Lula, to show them some tricks to uh, minimize burning. Bye, John. Bye, Bye Montserrat. Nice work. Bye. I like your robot a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Ricky, thank you for joining. Uh, I hope we can uh, translate some of the good things that happened in this class to, the, uh, to, your, to your group. Okay. I see Ricky's uh, microphone is muted. Uh, Brent, thanks for uh, uh, setting all that up. Uh, you're welcome. I think you did most of that. Um... Yeah, it, 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 it turns out uh, I, I need to set up the cameras beforehand because uh, this works well if you set the cameras up right. I mean, uh, to have the cell phone so you can be mobile and show it working with the real door and then to have a close-up camera where over the workspace. Okay. Um, Rodrigo, howdy. Um, let me uh, sh let me turn the audio the recording off so we'll have two two separate recordings. Hi, Pablo.